Oh, well, the boy's kind of small. George Shrinks. Oh, but it doesn't show at all. George Shrinks. Because he's always acting tall. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. Oh, if a problem should be found. George Shrinks. Oh, he's the boy to have around. George Shrinks. Oh, something big or something small. George Shrinks. Oh, George Shrinks, George Shrinks, he's called. George Shrinks seems to find a way. The junior does a call. George Shrinks. Well, Dad blows a bugle call. George Shrinks. And Mama keeps an eye on all. George Shrinks. 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 On Sunday mornings, Mom and Dad like to sleep in. It's something that happens when you get old. Anyway, as usual, Junior and I were trying to occupy ourselves in, as Mom says, a quiet and constructive manner. Onward, Brave Jumbo! Onward to the lost temple of the Golden Duck! Slowly now, we must move quietly so we don't alert the evil warriors that guard the temple and its treasure. I'll scan the temple grounds and count the guards. Do it, Jumbo! Whoa! <laughs> ah! Whoa! <laughs> Looks like you popped a squeaker, Junior. <laughs> Sorry to bust up the adventure, boys, but it's breakfast time for Jumbo. Even little elephants need their cereal. Oh, gee, Mom. I didn't know you were up. You know, I always have trouble sleeping through armed conflicts. No squeak, Mom. Oh, and it was your favorite. Just leave Ducky on the bed, Mom. I'll fix him for you, Jumbo. Okay, George. Well, let's eat. Bye, George. See ya, Jumbo. Fix the duck. Fix the duck. How am I gonna fix the duck? <laughs> One squeaker missing in action. Great. Just great. We called it a garage, but the only thing that wasn't in there was a car. In fact, looking out into all that dark, I imagined all kinds of things being in there, and most of them had big fangs, bad breath, and an appetite for filet of George. This is when an act of imagination can be a real pain. But I promised Junior I'd fix his duck. That, as Dad says, is the bottom line. because she said it smelled funny. I decided to wait until tomorrow to laugh about that. sprained ankle once. It hurt a lot. My name's George. George Shrinks. I live here. You too, or are you from the outside? That reminds me. This is what I've been looking for. Yeah, sounds just like you. Looks 
to me like your foot only hurts when you try to move it, huh? Hey, what's the matter? I, I didn't do anything. I, I want to help. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Sparkle Tangerine, the neighborhood stray. Sparkle Tangerine is one tough pussycat. Yeah, we better hide. Come on, you get in the teacup. I got a plan. Just keep quiet. Shh. on someone your own size. You're a lot bigger than me. Also a lot heavier. Heavy enough, I hope. I also hope Sparkle Tangerine wouldn't jump. If she did, I was cat food. <laughs> Leaving Sparkle Tangerine to catch up on her reading, I had no time to waste. I knew there were other things she was more interested in than books. <laughs> can see in the dark. I wonder what a little light will do. Perfect. Sparkle Tangerine wasn't giving up, and I was out of ways to try and scare her off. I didn't like to do it, but I had no choice. I'm leaving you, pal. Can't do anything to help you here. Stay put, and don't make a sound. I'll be back with a way out, I promise. Hey, Furball, pick on someone your own side. Come and get the tasty boy. Time to try the new Super Soaker button. Time to switch from the Super Plane to the Super Cargo Cup. Uh oh, looks like I hit a snag. Come on, come on! Yes! We did it! You okay, fella? So far, it was an interesting morning. I still hadn't fixed Junior's duck, but I found the lost squeaker and a new friend. No, just a sprain. But a bad one, though. We have to make sure it keeps away from Sparkle Tangerine. Can we keep them? A mouse in the house? I don't know. But I've never had a pet my size before. Ah, oh, there's the fish. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. You can't teach a fish to fetch a ball. Let's wait and see. First thing is to let his foot get better. Okay. <laughs> he likes the squeaker from Junior's duck. No, my squeaky. Squeaky! Squeaky! Junior, no! No, no, Junior. Mom, he almost scared the mouse's tail off. He didn't mean to, George. He's too little to know. But still... My squeaky, George. My squeaky. Oh, I know I promised to find his duck, but I think it makes him feel more comfortable. Like he's got a mouse friend near him, you know. Please, Junior. Okay. It's just for a little while, Junior. Just till it gets better, okay? It's okay, fella. Come on, Junior. Let's get you a cookie. 
My squeaky. Now, since I didn't speak his language, he couldn't tell me his name, so I decided to just call him Mouse. I guess because I never had a pet mouse before, I didn't know what they liked to do, so I made sure the secret subterranean mouse base had everything. I recruited the best security men in the business, some all the way from Mars. Even our arch nemesis, Sparkle Tangerine, would have a tough time getting in here. Perimeter secure. Time for interior utility check. Water? Check. Peter? Check Garuni. Air conditioning? Ice cubes in place. Check, check, and double check. This mouse house has everything. Remember, anything gets in, you hop in the ball and roll to safety. We're ready for anything. You and me are going to be the best pals. We're going to have the most fun ever. <gasps> Squeaky ready? Want to play? Scared mouse. D don't be scared. Squeaky George. <laughs> hey, take it easy. It's okay. I won't let anything hurt you. Junior, quit it. Leave. No. It's all right. It it's all right. Just stay here. I told you not to scare mouse. You can't just go around scaring the whiskers off him anytime you want. Understand? <laughs> Take off those elephant ears. They scare Mouse even more. Me no squeaky, me no judge, me no nothing. Uh, are you sure his leg's all better now? Well, it's been a few days. Yeah, Junior's pretty much left us alone. It'll be okay, Mouse. Junior's been a little lonely, George. Steady, steady. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. <laughs> wow, look at him go. That looks like one happy mouse. Job well done, Dr. Dad. Thanks, Dad. Mom. <laughs> See ya. Out of water? Oh, looks like we need a refill. No problem. But while I'm gone, you should get some rest. You're not used to running around like that. Don't want to overdo it. And there's nothing to worry about. Even Sparkle Tangerine couldn't get past the trap I've set up. Junior, you don't want to break the little mousey. Junior could have squished him, Mom, even by accident. Me want squeaky. How about you play in your own room until things get settled? Mm. 
You wrecked our whole secret subterranean mouse base. Well, I bet the next one will be even better. You need to cut Junior some slack, George. He's pretty patient about getting back as squeaky. You're right, Dad. I've got an idea. A really big one. I bet you do, big guy. Come on, Mouse. I need your help. With Junior keeping his distance, Mouse and I had become a real team. Our adventures together were legendary. Or at least they would be soon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, buckle your seatbelts for the most amazing adventure ever. A George and Mouse Shrinks production of The Mouse Who Dared in the Adventure of the Golden Duck. Squeaky! 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 <clears throat> oh. The Temple of the Grand High Squeaker was surrounded by invaders. All were after one thing. Golden Duck. Oh, sorry. Would no one protect the duck? Would no one keep the squeaker from the hands of evil? No one dared. No one that is, except for George and Wonder Mouse. Oh, brave mouse, use your super rodent powers to sniff out the subterranean passage. This is so exciting. Come on, boy. Keep going, boy. Gadzooks, we're outnumbered a hundred to one. <laughs> oh, sorry. A thousand to one. Come on, let's go. Our only hope is to commandeer yon abandoned mining car and sneak past our fearless foes. But wait, the car is guarded. Take that, you fool, and that, and that. Oh no, those rascals have foiled our plan. We're doomed. Abandoned ship! <gasps> the Phantom Rooster! He fears us so much, he fainted at the sight of us. We must leap across the fiery gorge to penetrate the inner core of the temple. Whee! <laughs> go, George, go! The enemy is closing in all around. Time is running out. Gotta hurry. Ha! He's left it unguarded. Is ours. Now we must make our escape. <gasps> the invaders! There is but one hope of escape. <gasps> we! We made it! Thanks to the mouse who dared. And more than that, we saved the golden duck. Bravo! Hey! Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Bravo! Squeaky! Bravo! Squeaky! 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 Here? Yay, Mousie! Yay, Squeaky! <gasps> Yay for Mousie! Time you've really done it, Junior. Your lucky mouse didn't get squished like my super car. The super car was busted up pretty badly thanks to Junior. George? Yeah, Mom. Oh! 
Yeah, Mom. We finished weeding out back and we're going around to the front. All right. I think Junior understands that he should try not to scare the mouse. And so I'm hoping Mouse won't be so scared of Junior. Okay, Mom. Maybe I was a little tough on Junior. Well, Junior's down for a snap now, so holler if you need us. Plant it now and dig it later. Okay, Dad. Now, back to the old motor board. Where's my wrench? Ugh. Wait a second. That sounds like Junior must have snuck out to the backyard. But Mom and Dad are in the front, and Junior's out back. Mom! Dad! Junior! Junior! I don't see... Oh, no. The back gate's open. Uh, what am I gonna do? No good. Aha! <laughs> You're helping me. Okay, now hurry. We've got to find Junior. <laughs> Junior tracks. Yep, he's been this way. Faster, Mouse. All kinds of things could happen to a little guy like him. Faster. came along, all I've done is, well, kind of yell. <laughs> I can understand how you feel, I think. Well, I know how I feel, and that's not so good. But look, Junior, you saved me, and you saved Mouse. And you gotta let us make it up to you. Right, Mouse? Come on, Junior. Say okay. <laughs> Say okay. <laughs> Defeated the treacherous, evil, awesome, fearsome, <laughs> evil, treacherous, really bad Sparkle Tangerine! And saved not just his big brother and his faithful mouse, but the whole entire world. And was awarded the Order of the Golden Duck. The highest honor in Shrinkland. <laughs> 33 cheers for Junior! Hip hip! Hooray! 
Hip hip hip, hip hooray! Hip hip hip, hip hooray! I guess new friends always seem kind of special, but now I know that, well, when someone makes a new friend, it doesn't mean they can forget their old friends. Because you know what? New friends are special, but brothers are even more special. Hip, hip, hooray!